You're ready, my name is Paul Wilson. Uh, I own a business out of Sock Rabbits, Minnesota. It's called The Auditorium. We spell it O-D-D, so uh, it kind of allows us to carry a rather eclectic line of merchandise. And today uh, we're at the Chicagoland Show in St. Charles, Illinois. So the two machines that we've got to show today are these two here. They're made by a company called Exhibit Supply. They come out of Chicago, Illinois. Both these machines were made in the 1940s. And they are postcard vendors. Uh, at that time, postcards uh, were vended for a number of novelty reasons. You would see a lot of them with uh, pinup pictures or race cars or movie stars. Uh, sometimes they would have uh, versions of your future wife, your future husband will look like this. So it was kind of a fun thing for people to buy and then put a stamp on. These two have been upgraded with 25 cent coin mix. Originally they would have come with 2 cent coin mix back in the 40s, so postcards were fairly inexpensive at that time. Uh, this one here is called an Exhibit Vacuumatic, and the reason they called it that was the cards themselves, actually a small vacuum would pick the cards up and lift them up and then drop them into the back so that you could watch everything work. It was, had a working mechanism, which is very unusual. This machine then came out later on with the lights in, a lot less mechanically innovative, so it was easier for the operators to keep them up because they didn't break down quite so often. But in a machine like this, Basically on the inside, there's not a lot to them. I don't know if you see it real well, but the cards were stacked here. The little suction cup lifted them up and then dropped them in front of you so you could see them. And then they would come down through an entrance down here. And they would always display what type of cards were in the machines on the front. This one here was just basically the light up version that was much simpler inside. And you can see here, everything was just weight driven. The cards were put here with heavy weights on. So when you push this in, it would pick the card up with the quarter on and slide it back out. And here again, these were originally two cent coin mix. And then the cash boxes were down here. So the operator could actually give the key to the, the attendant. He could fill the machines and uh, he couldn't get at the cash. So that, that way the operator could come in later on and collect the money. You would find them in arcades, um, occasionally possibly in grocery stores or small ma and pa type stores at that time. The profit margins were so small that a lot of times it was just more of a novelty for them to have them in there. Or they would sell the machine to the location and then sell them the cards and that's where they made the money was on the cards themselves. So these are fairly uh, rare machines to see today. So both of these had to be sandblasted, uh, get off the old lead paints, repaint them, go through the mechanisms to get everything working on them again to make them look proper for today's use. Uh, these two have a fairly nice history. They came out of an arcade at the Minnesota State Fair. Uh, they were taken off a location in the early 1980s and uh, we just purchased six of them from storage, which are the last six that were still out there uh, about six or eight weeks ago, right before the show and did the restorations. That's kind of the history of the machines and uh, we hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you next year at the Chicagoland Show.